hello everyone you are welcome back to best notes tutorial and today we will be talking about restoration period or the age of dryden uh, dryden was a tory first uh, you know first notes for you to note down here dryden about dryden because this was the he was a prominent writer of this age and uh, the period of the age was 1660 to 1700 the restoration of the king so what is the question is what is being restored here uh, in case we are talking about you know restoration to question aata hai ki kis cheez ka uh, kis cheez ko restore kiya gaya yahan pe so it was the king charles ii and he got restored and he was son of charles i who got beheaded by public three important historical events of uh, this period were the restoration of the year 1660 the religious controversy here religious controversy there were two groups it is important like you should know who were Whigs. so Whigs were the parliament uh, who were supporting actually this they were uh, supporting parliament and tories were the king supporter tories were supporting king actually there was uh, you know two two times were there like monarchical rule was replaced two times twice first was commonwealth 1649 uh, to 53 period tha, and the second one was the protectorate means pe ek commonwealth ne king ko kya kya tha, replace kya tha, fir commonwealth wahan pe kya kar rahe the? Uh, kar rahe the, okay so they were governing there and uh, second time it was 1653 to 59 and protectorate were there and under cromwell so who was the head head was cromwell so remember this thing uh, you should know all these so you can see lots of uh, information is here you can make cards you can uh, go through these deta details again and again the revolution 1688 it is also called a bloodless re revolution so if, if the question is which is called uh, the bloodless uh, revolution it was the revolution of 1688 or year 1688 you should remember uh, james ii uh, ascends throne in 1685 he tried to establish catholicism now here is the game okay you should know that uh, he wanted to establish catholicism okay and in the country in 1688 uh, there was revolution and protestant william and mary were given uh, the throne so who uh, james second ascent throne in 1685 this was the reason of this revolution okay uh, so he wanted to establish catholicism but the catholic people were less so the seat was given to the william and mary Literary characteristics of this is uh, rise to neoclassicism. If, if you are not, uh, you know, well aware of these terms, so neoclassicism means new classics. Okay, new classics. Uh, they were following, and they were following actually classics. Uh, that's why they were called neoclassicism, neoclassicist, and this this is called neoclassicism. What is classicism? Classicism means you have to follow some rules for writing any book. Means if you want to write a book, okay, you are following strict rules. If you are following strict, sorry, strict, uh, uh, means you are a uh, classics or classicism. You will you will fall in this category, okay? Imitation of ancients. That's why these are called neoclassicism. Uh, imitation of French. So they were imitating French works. Now let's come to the uh, this point here. <clears throat> now let's talk about uh, Dryden. Dryden, he remained follower of Charles II and loyal to church. Uh, so if uh, we will, uh, you know, be asked about uh, details about Dryden because he was the prominent writer, we should know all these things. Later, he remained faithful to James II and became Catholic. 
after the revolution 1688 he had to face difficulties because he was catholic you can remember he was loyal to church okay and uh, he lost his post as poet laureate and died in 1700 you should know this one uh, first poem his first poem was an elegy elegy on the death of young lord hastings and it was at the age of 18 he heroic stenja in 1659 on death of cromwell he wrote this one heroic stenja so question are asked like uh, to whom he dedicated it or uh, for whom he wrote this okay now so you should know all the facts like this means you should know on the death of cromwell was uh, you know heroic stenja and this poem was dedicated to the death of cromwell or it was written for cromwell you can say uh, Estria Rudex 1660, a poem celebration on Charles II's return. Uh, Annus uh, Mirabilis 1667 gives a spirited account of great fire and the war with the Dutch. Absalom and Achitophel 1681, satire, political, uh, it was a political satire, mockery of popish plot, and exclusion bill. So, Question can be asked like which work was uh, related to exclusion bill and which was written for the popish plot. Okay, Shaftesbury as Achitophel and Monmouth as Absalom. So these are the characters uh, described in the work. You must know all these things because he is a prominent writer of the ace. Uh, Mac Flicknon, 1682, personal attack on his own friend Thomas Shadwell. And he named it as Oog, O and G. Religio Lassie, 1682, uh, defends the argument for the Church of England. And the Hin and the Panther, uh, this was the Church of Rome. So remember, this was for Church of Rome and this was for Church of England. So you should know this. The Fable, 1699, he presents himself as a storyteller in verse. Song for St. Cecilia's Day, 1687. These two works show him as a lyric poet. And next work was the Alexander's Feast. Uh, here, the eminent prose writers of the Restoration period. Uh, John Dryden, Essay on Dramatic Poesy. John Bunyan, It Was Grace, Abounding, 1660. The Pilgrim's Progress, Important Work. It is asked in several exams about the journey of the Christian, the pilgrim from the city of destruction to the celestial city, life and death of Mr. Badman, a story, the Holy War allegory. So the Holy War next work, it was an allegory written in 1682. Thomas Hobbes, a great polit political thinker of the time, his work was the Leviathan, 1651, declared that the origin of all power was in the people. Sir John Locke, Treaties on Civil Government, people have right to take away the power from the ruler. The ruler is responsible for the trust reposed on him. The legislative assemblies are supreme. So these were written about the treaties on civil government. Essay concerning the human understanding, this is the another work by John Locke. The diaries, this is also important. Uh, for histories and to know about the time. Samuel Pepys' diaries were published between 1633 and 1603. John Evelyn, 1620 to 1706. Pepys' diaries opens on Jan 1st, uh, 1660 and continues till May 31, 1669. As a historical document, it provides an interesting view of the life of Restoration London. So hopefully you have noted down all the important notes. If you want to join my notes course and uh, you know for TGT, PGT or UGC net courses with us, uh, you can directly WhatsApp us on 740928756. Okay, so hopefully you like the video. If you like the video, please do share it with others. See you soon in next video.